quickly this lady decided she had pain in her back two downstairs. some people it takes longer to decide you know and two downstairs and two downstairs get up here quickly is there any nurses or doctors here and dr webb is going to come up from the basement and dr webb we'd like for you to come up from the basement tracy's a podiatrist she's a foot doctor she is yeah you wouldn't lie or would you <laughs> See, i hate people that lie It's hard for him to get up the stairs. <laughs> Long way. Which one of you is in pain? You better all be. <laughs> Which one thinks he's the worst pain? Well, come here. I need him to come this way when you come over to come around. Come right over here. This is nurse. What have you done? What have I done? What have you done to hurt yourself? Really? No. Can you, even with them dark glasses, can you see the difference in your legs? Did you know it was that way already? I'm sure I did. I've got scoliosis. Doctor what? I've got scoliosis. Is that all? Are you watching that? You watching it, doctor? How much would you say? Two and a half, three inches. He's got good eyes. Is there a reason why you're wearing dark shades? Yeah, I'm hungry. Hmm? I'm hungry. Would you take them off? Because I believe the migraine's going to leave. In the name of Jesus, I just want you to look at me, and as I begin to pray, you look at your feet and see what happens. I speak to your spine. I break that curse of scoliosis. I command it to turn loose at you right now. And I command every vertebrae, every rib, every disc to line up one on top of the other. Have I pulled or twisted? No. In the name of Jesus. Is the headache gone? the doctor something because he's a chiropractor now you watched me and so you know that I didn't do this but people tell me all the time when they're sitting in the audience that I'm manipulating their legs that I'm jerking their leg out with it being two and a half inches if it did work I'd have to jerk her plumb out of that chair wouldn't I and then some and yet I'm just holding it with two fingers and it's just coming right out there just as easy. When God does it, it works. If it's God, it works. You in pain right now? Praise the Lord. I love for people to be in pain because if the man, now don't turn your feet up. That's not normal. That's normal. Nurses, can you see this? <laughs> now, we've got one leg that's fairly well straight. Now, don't turn that up. In fact, it would probably, it goes even further back than that. I mean, her whole knee is, is that way, but don't you bother it. It's in the hip. First of all, I command your leg, which we're looking at an inch and a half. Uh, nurse, would you lay one hand touching both knees? Or both legs? Either one of you. <laughs> what, doctor? Okay. 
Can you feel both legs now? Now watch what happens and see if you can feel it. I command her right leg to be the same as her left. Hmm. And I command now, now when it turns, the rest of it will straighten on out. I command in her hip. Because this is in her hip. I command her hip to turn and straighten up. And don't you turn it, just let it turn. And I'm trying not, ooh, notice the knees coming there. Don't tighten up on it, just let it, it's turning above. <laughs> Can you feel that turning in your hip there? Right on over, right on over. And there we go, and now they're straight. Is the pain gone? The pain gone? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just start right there. Start right there on the back row and just bring them this way. Come on, have a seat, please. Hi. Right. This is your first time here? Yes. You look like you're in pain. In fact, he looks like he's about to cry. Can I see this leg? It'll make you hurt even worse. You're in pain now, huh? Definitely. Definitely. You see the difference in the legs? Back off behind me where you can see his face and the feet. Okay, you watching it? Right there. Get a little closer on his face. You look like you're in pain. What's happening? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh, and then we go like this. Get up and jack it. How long have you had this? How many? Five years. He's had this five years. What did the doctor say it was? Uh, disc. Uh-huh. Lower this problem. Well, would you do something for me? You see, because I had two disc problems, and I know what you can't do. Touch your toes. Uh -huh. Now, folks, if it's God is working, we should be rejoicing. You, you know, some of you are sitting out there saying, I don't believe this. He's in a little bit of pain. Now, here's his opposite leg. Yes, yeah, sir, I'll do it. With the man and woman sitting right here, the guy in the sweater looks sort of brownish from here, and the woman just looked at him. Yeah, you too. Would y'all come here? I want you to be able to see this. Sir, would you look at his feet? Can you see the difference in his feet, the length? Look at his heels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Would you put one hand on both of his legs? Sure. I command right now his left leg to be the same as his right one. And I command he, his hips to straighten up in the name of Jesus. I commend all the pain to go. I want you to watch one more before you go. Oh, now look here, top to bottom. You see it very clearly. Very clearly. Now just relax, you hadn't got a skirt on. Are you watching? I command his right leg. <laughs> hmm. Is the thing gone? Stand up, bend over, and check it. Twist it. It's gone. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. Okay, Now I'm going to hold him up here high. 
Can you see the difference there? I mean, you'd be able to see if I was pulling his legs. In the name of Jesus. Oops, 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 oops. And Father, he's a skinny duck, but he's a duck. <laughs> face. I want you to notice her legs are the same length. Now just let them relax. You're turning them. Her legs are the same length. I speak to the third vertebrae from the bottom. I speak to another one just below the shoulder blades and I speak to your tailbone. Ooh, I command them all three to go in line. <laughs> The newspaper reporter or the TV reporter, why don't you come up here? I know she's back here someplace, but she can't report on what she don't see. Is she back here? Why don't you bring her around on this front side so she can put her hand on it? I want her to put her hands on his legs. Get down, put one hand where you're touching both legs. Can you see the difference in the length of her feet? Would you put one hand touching both legs and watch? Now, if I pull, have you ever seen me before? I haven't seen you here. You're not going to lie for me. In the name of Jesus, I command your right leg to be the same as your left. How come your eyes are so big? I just can't believe it. And if you look at her a little bit, she's just a little bit like a duck with this one. So that's in her hip, and I command her hips to straighten up. Am I putting any pressure or pulling at all? <laughs> and then we'll just check like that. Stand up and check yourself, see if the pain is gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the joints to be free. The joints to be free. Just place your hands toward him. You guys are supposed to be helping. Just to be free. The tendons to stretch. The muscles to stretch. All the pain to go. All the pain to go. The heart pain started it. The hurts, the resentment to go. The loneliness to go. In the name of Jesus. New circulation. Oh, <laughs> yeah. New circulation. I can feel something happening there. New circulation. Just let your leg relax now. They're just, there they go. There they go. There they go. A little bit more on the left one here. Just let it, let it go ahead. Just straighten right on that. You haven't had that thing straightened in about 10 years. And then, <laughs> I know. Let it straighten on out. So you're used to holding it. Just let it straighten on out. Just relax. Let the blood flow. Let the blood flow. Get up and walk with me. Move the chair out of the way. I want you to just start walking with me here. And let's see, just go this way. We won't let you fall. Just pick your legs up now and begin to walk because the circulation is going to be different. Hold your back up straight. You don't. There we go. So you've been walking by habit for a while. I know. Let's turn around and go back that way. Sure is why. 
Is there a difference? Yes, there is. Oh, well, I'm not Before we go, we're going to pray with this young lady right here. What's your name? Jill. Jill? Yeah. Okay. Jill? In the name of Jesus, now is there a reason that the doctors give? Just birth? Yeah. Put your hand on her neck there. Right, right, just a little bit higher, right in there. In the night, night, you're reaching out with me? Okay? I want you to say, devil. Devil. I'm not going to fear. I'm not going to fear. I'm not even listening to your lies. I'm not even listening to your lies. There's no difference in what's wrong with me. There's no difference in what's wrong with me. And all those other people I've been watching be healed. And all those other people I've been watching be healed. See, you've been watching them by your spirit. You might as well watch them with your eyes, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak and I command nerves to grow to your eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak and I command underneath Tom's hand that those nerves grow up there. And those nerves begin to, to function properly. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command an optic nerve. Now, now look around and see if you can tell any difference. In the name of Jesus Christ, is it getting any lighter, any difference? You, it is. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I command... A retina, the retinas, the retinas, the retinas, just everything to clear up in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to look at my finger here. Can you see my finger? Look straight out here. I'm going to get in front of the light. No, look at my face right here. I want to see if you can see. Look at me. Can you see that? No, not kind of. Can you see anything there? Can you see anything blocking the light? You're my finger. <laughs> oh. Can you see anything here blocking the light? Your fingers. My fingers. Yes. See, we've gone from one finger to two fingers. Could you see anything at all before? Kind of, not really. No. <laughs> You've got to give me an answer. No, I can't. Could you see anything before? Could you tell if I held a finger up in front of you before? No. No? Oh, well, that's what we're trying to get a hold to. <laughs> Place your hand down here toward her, folks. Place your hand down here toward her. Close your eyes a moment. In the name of Jesus, I said nerves, nerves come alive. I command that spirit of blindness to turn you loose. I command that spirit of blindness to turn you loose. And I command your eyes to see far up and up close. There's something different. <laughs> oh my God, I love you! Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Now, I want you to watch a couple of them. You hurting in your back? Well, sit down. Let's see. Doctor, is that hurt? Oh, praise God, she's hurting. Does that really hurt when you raise it up here like that? Now, watch her real close. Now, she's in pain. Don't hold the chair. Suffer for 10 seconds. Can you see that? I commend the vertebrae and discs to go in line. And new ones to replace. Oh. And then we just go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stand up and check it. Quickly, all the way down. Oh, right. <laughs> Check this one more time. Let's be sure. Over there. Where are you from in Texas? Are you from Texas? Did he say you were from Texas? Oh, you just act like a Texan. Oh, she just, she just act like. Look at that. I mean, she got a grin from ear to ear. Look at that. Can you see that grin? I just stopped nursing because of it. You stopped nursing? <laughs> Give me your hands. It's time to go back to nursing. Look at me. Well, whatever, you know what? It's time to go back. Now listen to me. It's time to go back to nursing and put your hands on people. Now, I mean, you can do that out of your home. You can do that out of your home. Are you filled with the Holy Ghost? Yeah, I am. Oh, well, good. Why don't we just release that?
the, the anointing now, Father. You call nurses to put their hands on people. So, Father, we just release her to put, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all over her. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. She said, it's your turn. Get out of here. Down his leg. Did he tell you to move that chair up? Wherever he puts that chair is, is bought. And she's also got a pain in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is why. Anyone that ever dated this guy? I got news for you. You dated someone that was lost. <laughs> she had, she had, I mean, in confusion totally. Look at that. She has no idea where she's going. Her face is looking forward. Her feet is looking sideways, opposite directions. Where's your knees? They're straight now, but when my feet are turned in, my, knee, or, yeah, my knees are inside. Well, well, hold your knees and make them stay right where they're at. <laughs> Don't let the knees move. You ready? <laughs> Leave your knees where they're at. You don't have normal legs, look at that. And you notice they're the same length now. Uh-huh. Well, are we supposed to be doing anything here? My mouth hurts. <laughs> Yes, sir. Have you got some tape? was the quickest to put his hand up of anybody, so I think we ought to try him first. You got a broken back? Well, that don't bother me. Sit down. Not yet. We'll take it off in a minute. You got a broken back. Hmm. Did it hurt real bad? You have or haven't? When did you have the surgery? Not too far ago. How long they want you to stay all bound up? Uh huh. But you know, we prayed for a young man in Iron Pryor. I don't, I don't think the pastor's here tonight. He may be here. Is the pastor from Iron Pryor here? He was telling about it the other night. He had a broken back too. Only he was in a wheelchair. And he wasn't ever going to be out. Do you know we prayed over him that night and he got up out of that wheelchair and walked off and hadn't been back in that wheelchair? <laughs> it don't make any difference, but I'm going to ask you a question. How did you break your back? Huh? <laughs> you. Put your finger right in the middle of your forehead and say, stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> Can I see your feet? Now, I know it may... Now, keep your shoes on, man! Would you Don't get on one knee down here, and I want you to lay one arm across both legs, about, about halfway between the knees and the, and the feet. Now, just get there and touch both legs. Are you touching both legs? I want you to watch what's happening. You notice he can't straighten his legs out either. His knees don't bend. Now, if you'll just relax just a second, 
Father, we thank you for everything the doctors have done. Because without the doctors, he could possibly be crippled or dead. But I now command the vertebrae to separate. Am I putting any pressure or doing anything? The vertebrae to separate. You notice the legs are, are halfway now, less than an inch difference. Just relax there. There's, there's not going to be any pain. <laughs> I now command the vertebrae to separate. I want you to look at me. And new discs to go into their back. I command two of them, you need actually need new vertebrae. I command two brand new vertebrae. Oh. Now we're less than a quarter of an inch difference. Well, just relax. Pick your hands up there and just relax. Uh-huh. And then we just... <laughs> Why don't you stand up and move and check yourself? Is there any pain or any height? Can you take that break? <laughs> Nurse, he wants to know what does it look like. He said there's supposed to be an infection right in there. There's nothing there. He said, there's just, in this second cut right here, I've never had one drop his pants like this, but. <laughs> <laughs> what I do right now is turn right here and look at me. Where the, there's a little bit of drainage here in this second place. I mean, the rest of it all looks good. In this second place right here, now look at me. I command all the fear to leave you. All the fear, you know the fear gets you before anything else. I command all the fear to leave you. And now I command your body now. I command all this infection to dry up. Just dry up. Dry up. What are you shaking for? I'm the Holy Ghost is all over him. <laughs> it's all over him. When you go home at night, do you usually take that brace and everything off and lay down? Uh -huh. You can either take it off tonight or you can take it off when you get home. You can do whatever you want to do. I want to see. When you laid there, when you laid there, you cried out to God. And, you know, that's what we do. We cry out to God when we're in the middle of the problem. But God wants you to serve him anyway, whether you're in the problem or not. And you go back to that doctor, and you let that doctor check you. But I guarantee you, he's going to be shocked. <laughs> Nurse. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Nurse, now you know basically what he's in. He shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> he should not be able to do this. Well, well, come here. <laughs> Father, now look at me. I thank you for the plates. I thank you for them. I, I promise you, I believe doctors and nurses are called of God. I believe that with all my heart. Now, Father, we thank you for those plates they put in there. We thank you for any pins they put in there. 
We thank you for any screws they put in there. But I command everything to be completely normal, even if the plates have to become flesh and bone. I don't care what it is. Huh? He said you feel something like it's going away. Well, that's good. Yeah. Let me know tomorrow. Let the doctor check it. I want you to walk up and down the stairs there and see what you feel. Now, he's going to be there with you. I want him to take your hand. And just there. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Give the Lord a hand. Uh, well, now that you've seen this, are you ready?